I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Hello people, this is a continuation of Final Fantasy XV or FF15, please enjoy. Oh, and my console probably won't overheat anymore because I have a fan that should keep it cool. Or at least cool enough so it won't overheat. Not sure, so take that with a grain of salt. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself... to the brink of death. Get up. 
Come on, cars are gonna move. But so off. Sheesh. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nah. -uh. We just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nut. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. You'd rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Hold the phone. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place, filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. Are you guys even pushing? Hard as I can. Everything I've got will be done. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the... Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. <sighs> Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This will make sure y'all don't get lost. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. You see this, Noct? What about it? A moment, Noct. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? A uh, bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa.
But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. What happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. The hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. Trouble than anticipated. Nah. Oh, 
Christ! We'll be done in no time. Let's get on with it. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, <sighs> lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give it your all. Hey, knock! Hey, yeah. Strike to catch him off guard! Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. this knocked get out of here you okay we are now spoke too soon remember just a scrap box easy as they come game is up Ah! Never asked you to. Don't be like that. Woo! We got some real chemistry here. Take this! The Prince of Pain. Yep. Hi. Huh. Oh yeah. Hey, what about the shack over there? Not yet. I've got a plan. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's a bit heartless. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mention it. Try this, little devils. Try this. Here goes nothing. Yeah. 
None the worse for wear. Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Yeah. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Phew. For a second, I thought you were going to forget to ask for cash. It would be wise to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh... Is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. And here we are. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up.
Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Thing's vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Show those balls! Nice one. It's not over yet! <laughs> Ready for round two? Bring it! Get him! Rocked up! On cover! This is gonna take a while. You worried? You risk? Yeah. I'm impressed! Gladio, do it! <laughs> You got all those arms at your disposal. Use them. Uh huh. Yeah. Gladio. Watch out. Nice sport, Gladio. Impressive. Nailed it. All right, boys, we're in the whole stretch. Yeah. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while well, I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. <laughs> so, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. 
good. Because I need the leg room in back. So far, a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Want to come shopping with me, big guy? Yeah, sure. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Not sure I've got what it takes. I see. Then allow me to take the wheel.
It survived longer than I thought it would, so please like, share, and subscribe.